Okay. All right. Good morning. Let's call to order today's meeting of the Downtown Design Review Committee. I have 9.30 and we have a, uh, we'll do a roll call for quorum. Nathan excuse me, Nathaniel Harding. Present. Anthony Blatt. Present. Charles Ainsworth. Corey Bates. Present. Julie Kriegel. Present. And Deborah Richards. Present. You have a quorum. Right, everybody make sure your cell phones are turned off or, in, or silenced. Um, do we have any members that need to leave early today or that have a conflict of interest? Okay, um, and as always, remember to use microphones when address or when, when speaking on the committee here. So we have minutes from uh, last month. Is there a, a motion to approve? Move to approve the minutes. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Minutes are approved. Uh, item three, there are no cases withdrawn. Uh, four, there are no continuous requests brings us to item number five, consent docket. And um, we see three items in the consent docket. Is there any motion or um, any item to be removed for, inter or, uh, for individual consideration? I'll move to approve the consent docket. Second. It's been moved and seconded um, to approve the consent docket. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. That is approved. No items for individual consideration. Um, and number seven is other business. We do have a KCE00978 at 621 North Oklahoma Avenue. So Laura, can you summarize this for us, please? Sure. Thank you. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. This is on your agenda for a recommendation to the Planning Commission for uh, a request to close. Um, it's an alley easement that was part of the original plat, and I have that outlined here in yellow. This is an alley easement that dead ends into the elevated railroad track, so it can't go anywhere. Um, currently, that part of the alley isn't even paved. The only part of the alley that's paved is toward the east, and there's a fence that fences that off, and I believe it's been fenced off for quite a while. The property owners in that area, um, and let me, um, there is um, two main property owners on the block, and the issue is, this one will help, we have one property owner that has uh, property owner number two, and so as you can see, the alley easement is splits their property. We have the second property owner, which is the main property owner, who would, that also splits their property. And then there's a third property owner here on the corner that is not party to this, that wasn't. So the applicants for this is property owner one and two. And so allowing this closure and subsequent vacation would allow their properties to be contiguous to each other um, so that they could actually have accessory um, uses or accessory buildings on the other side. Um, so in the staff report, uh, staff didn't, uh, the only thing that we had was um, the issue about the development pattern. And while it is common or it's traditional to have an alley through the middle, this, since this easement can't go anywhere, so it really doesn't provide, you know, that if, I, if a garbage truck went down there, they'd have to back out. And we all know that that's not what they want to do. Um, from a block away. Uh, and so with the fact that there's only three property owners, it really doesn't lead anywhere. Um, staff didn't find that there were any um, real issues that caused concerns. Um, and so staff recommended that you provide a recommendation of approval to the Planning Commission to allow this process to get started. And we have the attorney that submitted the application here and one of the property owners is also in the audience. Okay, would you like to add anything to that, sir? David Box, 522 Colquitt Drive. Be happy to answer any questions. Everybody has them. It is worth noting the one property that is not included, uh, it's actually owned currently by the state of Oklahoma, which is why they're not a party to it. But perhaps at some point that might be surplus property that uh, would, would be able to come back in and vacate the rest of the alley. So be happy to answer any questions. 
just to confirm both owners are on board yes yeah they're they're the applicants okay on this and i might add that this actually kind of came out from a meeting i had with property owner number two um about their property and the different things that they're thinking about they might want to do any other questions does does that change the orientation of the property as far as fronts and backs and how how fifth and sixth are addressed well let me just say currently um with two let's just take property owner number two i'm not picking on you but um even though they're sitting here so currently there's two separate properties so each of those individual properties have a front yard right. so looking at it this has a front yard on fifth this has a front yard on sixth when it becomes one property all the way through they only have one front yard and so then they would choose and in this particular case the building which happens to be a, a former warehouse building that they've i don't know if you're familiar with that building they live in it but then they also um, have use down on the first floor um, since that building is here their front would be here on sixth street so they wouldn't have the requirement for any um, front issues with fifth street it doesn't preclude there to be a front because what will happen right. when we go and close it the next step is to go to district court to vacate it but when you go and vacate it what the law says is that the alley is split in half the north goes to the north half the south goes to the south half now here's one property owner uh, but it could it could be that the you know south half of the alley is split and it's owned by somebody else in the future so it doesn't preclude the ability to have two separate fronts like if you look at the alley what you'll see if you see number one on the north side of the alley as you traverse to the east towards oklahoma we will only be able to vacate that north half so that south half of the alley would still be open in theory uh, and so it the north half of the alley would go to the property owner to the north nothing would happen to the south there wouldn't be a party to the action but that's not part of this application right uh, it's, sure, this application sure. just ends right here Th that's right but what yeah. i'm saying is that that's yes. how it gets split yep. and so you'll see a little jog in ours you see number two and number two don't match up perfectly so there'll be a little jog right there i i ask because you know I don't want to set a precedent where um, on either of these properties, Fifth or Sixth Street could be or would be addressed as a back as a backyard uh, sure. versus a front yard. But certainly, if anything new was being developed, that would come. That's right. To to the city's attention. Correct. Right. Okay. Any other questions or a motion? Um, I make a motion to provide a recommendation of approval to the Planning Commission for the request to close a portion of the alley easement lying south of Northeast 6th Street between North Oklahoma Ave um, and the a AT and SF railroad tracks. Second. It's a Richards Kriegel motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. So that item passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, one, other, one other item that we have to consider is our 2019 meeting schedule. Um, it's been supplied to you for your review, and I think it, it follows the same pattern that we've traditionally followed. Is that right, Lisa? Uh, yeah, there's, there, there are no, no, no dates other than the third Thursday. Yep. Okay. So this needs a motion. I will move to approve the 2019 calendar year for the DDRC. Second. That's a black Kriegel motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Thank you. So that schedule is approved. And the, the remainder of, of our packet here is uh, communications. So if that's before you have any questions, but no, uh, no action to be taken. And then our next meeting date is October 18th. Any other comments from? Staff, Lisa. Do we have, do we have cases? We have a mural. Okay. So we have a meeting. So uh, we have one item on the agenda. Yeah. Okay. We're still one person down, so we'll make sure we don't have a problem with. 
they've started appointments, so we're hoping that they get to downtown quickly. Mm -hmm. But you'll be hearing from us because we'll need you to check your calendars and make because we need at least four of you to mm -hmm. attend. Okay. To have a quorum. Is there a motion to adjourn? Okay. Uh, a black people motion to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. I don't, I don't think that was the record. I think the record.